Solving equations can be tricky, especially when you have variables on both sides of the equal sign. In this video, we're going to show you how to solve equations like this and give you helpful notes to review from. Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. So this video is about solving equations with variables on both sides. In order to solve all linear equations, you must use the concept of equality. In other words, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must also do to the other. If the equation has variables on both sides, you must get all variables on one side of the equation and all constants on the other side. When we refer to variables, we're referring to letters. Typically, this would be x or y. And of course, constants are numbers. To do this, you add or subtract the variables and constants to get them on opposite sides of the equation. Finally, you use the multiplication or division property of equality to cancel the variables coefficient and get the variable by itself. And of course, when referring to the coefficient, if we had the term like 3x, the coefficient would be the 3. So let's jump down to our guided practice problems on our guided notes worksheet. Our first problem gives us the equation 4x minus 3 equals 2x plus 11. The first thing you should notice is that we have variables on both sides of the equal sign and we have constants on both sides of the equal sign. So the first step we must do is we want to get all the variables on one side and all the constants on the other side. Step one would be getting the constant on the same side. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add 3 so that this 3 cancels. When we do that we are left with the constants only on one side. And In the case of this problem when we do 11 plus 3 we will have 14. So now we have just numbers on one side of the equal sign. The next step is we have to get all of the variables on the same side of the equal sign. Not only do they need to be on the same side, they also need to be on the opposite side of the constant. So we're left with 4x equals 2x plus 14. We have to move this 2x from this side of the equal sign to the other side of the equal sign. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 2x. When we do that, these 2x's cancel we bring down the 4x minus the 2x will give us the 2x and then the 14 comes down. Then the last step obviously is to divide both sides by 2. When we divide both sides by 2 this 2 cancels you're left with just x and then you do 14 divided by 2 on this side which is 7. Our next problem is 5x minus 3 equals 8x plus 18. So once again, we have variables on both sides of the equal sign, and we have constants on both sides of the equal sign. Our first step is to get the constants on the same side together. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add 3 here. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So I'm also going to add 3 here. When we bring our equation down, the 3 cancels, we bring the 8x straight down, and then 18 plus 3, I'm sorry, negative 18 plus 3 is negative 15. The next step is we have to get all of the variables on the same side of the equation, but it also needs to be the opposite side as our constant. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 8x so that when we subtract 
this side of the equation is left with just the constant, which is the negative 15. And this side of the equation is left with just the variable. So 5x minus 8x is negative 3x equals negative 15. Then the last step is we have to cancel the coefficient. So we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by negative 3. You divide by a negative so that the negative cancels. And you're left with just x on this side. And then negative 15 divided by negative 3 is positive 5. Moving on to number 3. Number 3 gives us the equation 1 minus 6x equals 10 minus 3x. So once again, our first step is we need to get all of the constants on one side and all of the variables on the other side. So the first thing I want to do is I want to subtract a 1 here. So that the 1's cancel, we'll also subtract a 1 here because you also, whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. After we subtract, we're going to rewrite our equation. 10 minus 1 is 9, and then we bring down the negative 3x. The next step is to add 3x to both sides. And the reason we are adding 3x is because we need this side of the equation to have just the constant. And this side of the equation needs to have just the variable and the coefficient. After we do that, the negative 3 and the positive 3, they cancel. Over here, we have negative 6x plus 3x, which would be negative 3x equals, you bring down your 9, 9. Then the last step is we have to get the variable by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. When we do this, the 3's cancel and the negatives cancel. And you're left with just x on this side. And then you have x equals 9 divided by negative 3, which would be negative 3. Last problem in our guided notes is 12 plus x equals negative x minus 4. So the same rule applies. We want constants on one side and variables on the other. The first thing I want to do is I want to subtract a 12x so that they cancel. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So we're going to subtract 12x to this side. We're left with x equals negative x minus 16. Then we need to get rid of this negative x because we have the negative 16 on this side. So we're going to add 1x here. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So we're going to add 1x there. These guys will cancel. x plus x is 2x. Then you bring down your negative 16. Our last step is to divide both sides by 2. The 2's will cancel. You're left with x equals negative 16 divided by 2, which is negative 8. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.